Hi everyone, I'm Thibaut de Latouane, lead designer of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood of Venice, and today I'd like to give you a short intro of one of the playable characters, Alessandra. So we can see Alessandra right here, and she's a tank player, meaning she's focused on combat or protection of other assassins. I'll show you a quick demonstration of what's going on during the game, and then I'll show you what happens when she levels up. In this situation, Bastiano is being pursued. He'll have a red base in the game, but now we're using a cube. He stepped on this square and has been spotted, so he can't perform any actions, and the guards could attack if we don't do anything. So Alessandra has four available actions. I saved one during the previous turn. My first action will be to step on the square, hoping I won't be detected. So I lucked out and got an eye, meaning I'm also being pursued. Now I can perform an attack. This will be my second action. Now I can show you exactly what happens with Alessandra's special ability. Alessandra can once per turn throw a die with the shield. So let's throw this die. It's a hit. Every hit allows me to take out a guard. They're very weak early on in the game. Now I'll hide the bodies to make them disappear and loot them. So I grab as many equipment cards as there are bodies. In this case, I got a smoke bomb, which is quite useful. Here you go. It allows us to disappear. I also got these throwing knives, which allow me to kill from a distance. They're weak but silent, so you can kill from a distance, so they're useful. Right now, let's see how the smoke bomb works. I play an action, get rid of the card, and both of us become incognito again. In other words, we are no longer visible. Our bases stay on the square because the guards know something suspicious happened, and those who are close like this one here will come and check on the square during his turn and try to find us. And right now, this was an example of an illustration. Now let's go over leveling up. Now there is somewhat of a spoiler here, so you might want to stop listening because I'm about to show you what happens when Alessandra gains level 1. On level 1, her special ability increases. In other words, on level 0, if she rolled a shield, she could roll again. Now when she rolls a shield, it becomes a hit. This can be very useful during the game. And whenever she levels up, her special ability increases like this. Along with this special ability increase, we get to choose skills, which will add on and on with every level. In this example, we have three. I have to choose one. The others will be discarded for the rest of the campaign, so it's an important choice. The first is Bandage, which allows me to regain three life points. It could be useful, but it's not what I want. Every skill card is single use in every memory, so I can only use it once in this memory. So it's important to choose when I use it, and they'll be placed here on my board. So Bandage was the first. Frighten is the second. Frighten means after an attack, I can designate a guard from the square and he'll run away or disappear from the playing field. This can also be very useful, but I'd rather choose this last card called Human Shield. With this card, when there's an attack on an assassin who's being pursued, here's the example. We're both pursued. We'll add the maximum amount of enemies. I have four enemies on the square. These enemies would normally throw five dice. One die per character, two for the Agile. And normally, we would distribute the dice among the pursued assassins on the square. But now, with this card, I can take all the dice for myself. So I take all the damage. Here, I took two hits. I'm still alive. I could have died during this attack. If I had and there were hits left, they would be annulled. So this assures the other players will be unharmed from this attack. So this was the first demonstration of Alessandra. We'll give you demonstrations of the other characters soon. If you want to learn more about Alessandra, her history and background, you can get the character's bio on our Facebook page, where we regularly post more details and information on the characters, along with featurettes on how the characters were created. I hope you enjoyed this and want to learn more. 
I'll see you soon.